Today we're gonna give you a cover three bomb that's gonna work off of any cover three defense in the game. We're gonna show you how to get a one play touchdown on it. Let's jump into it. All right, so here we go, guys. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give you an easy, easy one play touchdown against any cover three in the game, and we're gonna be using one of the most meta offensive formations in the game with bunch TE. We're also gonna be using this against the most meta defensive formation in the game, nickel three three five wide with Mike Blitz three. So bunch TE. This formation is so good because of PA boot over. You can run this uh, one play touchdown glitch out of any passing play out of this formation, but we will use PA boot over just because it, it's got the play fake that everybody's gonna Im immediately think you're rolling out and throwing to the right side. So we're gonna use that. And then on defense, like I said, we're gonna go to nickel three, three, five wide. We are going to select Mike Blitz three. Again, most meta defensive to cover three in the game. And we're gonna run this. So you're gonna see I'm on the, the right hash right now. So our bunch is towards the wide side of the field. You can actually run this with the bunch towards the wide side, the short side, it doesn't matter. I'll show you exactly how to do that in a second. But we're gonna set up this play very specifically uh, to give us a one play touchdown. So uh, we're gonna start with our tight end, Gronk. Now, Gronk, you can put on any route that doesn't go down the field. So I'm gonna put him on a delay fade just because it's a great bailout route late, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna put Mike Evans, our B receiver, on a post route. We're gonna put Y, Antonio Brown, on a corner route. And then we're gonna put Chris Godwin, our one play touchdown here, on a fade route. Now it's very important he's on a fade, not a streak. Uh, we'll get to Y in a minute here, but we're gonna take Mike Evans, we're gonna motion him out, and once he sets, we're gonna snap the ball. Now again, this is practice mode. I could get absolutely screamed at, especially because they're sending five here. But if we get enough time, we're gonna have a deep one play touchdown down the middle of the field, and I'll show you here in a second. So here we go. We should have enough time here. We're able to throw this ball, and we get that over the deep third in the middle. Tom Brady doesn't quite have enough arm to get it that deep there, but this is the part of the video where I like to remind you, if you like what you're seeing, consider liking, commenting on the video, and subscribing to the channel. Ultimately, it's up to you. It's your choice. Love to have you as part of the Win Madden team. And if you haven't checked out winmadden.com, there's lots of great free tools on there to take your game to the next level. And if you want access to all the content, $2.99 a month, cancel anytime, gets you access to everything. With that said, let's jump back into the video. In Mutt, that's gonna be an easy one play touchdown. So let's go into instant replay and just show you what happens here real quickly. And again, you can see we get the play fake, we get time in the pocket. And here's the interesting stuff here, right? So let's just take a look at what's going on here. We do have this corner out. Now sometimes this sucks this guy down, sometimes it doesn't. Ultimately it doesn't matter, uh, but you can put him on a different route if you like, but I like to get him out of the way and I also like to just have this option of throwing the corner out if we want, right? He is wide open, just for the record. And then this is the most important route here. Remember how we put him on a uh, post route and then we motioned him all the way out to the numbers? Well, what he is gonna do is for some reason, he sucks down this middle third in the middle of the field. And here, look, he just sucks down towards Mike Evans. He does not suck down if you do not have that post route there. And that allows you to throw a pass lead towards the middle of the field to Chris, God uh, yeah, to Chris Godwin here for an easy, typically one play score when you've got a quarterback that has enough arm strength to throw it. But that's how that works. It's really, really simple, really, really easy. Now, I do wanna respot the ball because I mentioned you can do this to both sides of the field, right? So let's just take a look at this running this on the short side. And we're gonna set it up just a little bit differently, but you're gonna see the same results. So again, Gronk is gonna go on a delay fade. We're gonna put, this time, Mike Evans is going to go on the fade route, right? We're gonna put uh, Antonio Brown again on the corner route. And this time we're gonna put Chris Godwin, our X receiver, on the post route. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna motion out Chris Godwin and you're gonna see once he sets, we can snap the ball, and if we get enough time, we're gonna be able to stand tall in the pocket, we get the same glitch out animation, and we've got an easy one play score to Mike Evans for a touchdown. The same things happen here, but again, we do have to use different receivers just because of where we're at on the field with it. But that's really it, guys. That is the one play touchdown glitch against any cover three in the game. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, consider subscribing, love to have you. Like I always, till next time, win Madden.